And then the next things I got, I just got two, oh, just kidding, it's a one pack. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a huge Dollar Tree haul, Christmas edition. And if you've seen any of my other hauls, you know that this could get a little long. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Sometime while you're still here in this video, make sure you check out the description box below. I'll have all kinds of stuff linked down there between my makeup, my clothes, and anything that I talk about that I can get a link to, I will have down in the description. So make sure you check that out. And while you're at it, please subscribe to my channel because I upload videos every single week and I wouldn't want you to miss any of those. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up so that I know. And without further ado, now let's jump into this really big, Christmas Dollar Tree haul. Okay, so they actually put all of my stuff in these huge bags, which I like because I only had like three bags as opposed to five or six like I normally do, but these bags are super big, full, and this first one is, um, there's really not a rhyme or reason to what's in the bags, but this one is a lot of little like stocking stuffers and just little stuff that I grabbed for Amelia. So let's go ahead and see what we got. I got these little plastic kitchen utensils. Amelia has like this little fridge kitchen thing. And I also got her the Spark kitchen sink right, oh, there it is, right there. So um, I think that this will be fun to play with with that. And then right as soon as you walk in, there's this big metal bin of like stuffed animals and she got sucked into the elf first. So she got the elf and then she saw the teddy bears. So she ended up with both, but that's okay. She played with them for a while while we were in there. So it was worth it. And then I got, I actually got three bags of these. They're just Andy's mints. They're just chocolate and like mint in the middle. I love these things. So I grabbed a couple bags, one for me and maybe some for other people, maybe. And then the next thing I got was this pack of 12 combs, 12 combs for a dollar. They're different types. Some have picks at the end. Some are just regular like wide tooth combs. But I got these because I have a purple comb that Amelia loves to steal. So I got her a set of her own and I think this will be more than enough to keep her busy. I got this little purple shirt. I just kind of found this on a shelf somewhere. It's an extra, extra small youth shirt and it still looks like it'll be a little bit big on her, but I thought it was cute and for a dollar I could not leave it. And then I got this Minnie Mouse plastic cup. I thought that this would be a good bath time cup and she's really into Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse right now, so I got that. I got her this um, black pair of just small mittens, super fuzzy and cute, and I have a hard time finding gloves that fit her little hands, so I found this small pair of mittens and thought they were perfect. And then I got this bag actually um, for, I'm doing like gift baskets for my my future sister-in-law and my brother, my older brother. Um, and so this is one of the things that I wanted to put in my older brother's basket. And you better not be watching this, Mike. Just saying. You either, Josie, because there's some stuff in here for you too. Just saying. And then I got this um, baby doll. You guys, if you've seen any of my other Dollar Tree hauls, you know that we love these. And Amelia saw it and we had never um, seen this pattern before so we went ahead and grabbed this baby doll then the next thing I got was this rope ball it's in like this frosted lilac -y color it kind of looks a little blue on camera but it was cute she was running around the store and ended up picking one of these up after I grabbed this so I think she'll like it I think it'll be fun for her to chew on or whatever I think it's a dog toy oh well and then here are those other two bags of Andy's mints. And then I got these vanilla wafers. I love these things and I love getting them, especially at the Dollar Tree because they are so good. And I'm not really sure like if the brand is a name brand, but the ones at the Dollar Tree are super good and obviously a dollar, so definitely worth it. And then I grabbed Amelia this Betty Crocker um, like rubber icing spatula. She likes to chew on like this silicone material stuff and she likes to hold like thin things and run around with them. So I thought this would be just fun to just kind of stick in her stocking or something. 
And then I grabbed two Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Um, these are my favorite, so I might have gotten these for me if I find somebody else that I want to give one to. Maybe I'll do that, but shh, they'll probably be for me. And then the next thing I got was just this orange and pink pumice stone. I thought this would also be a cute stocking stuffer. I think maybe for my mom. You better not be watching either, mom, because I'm going to warn you ahead of time. So this is going to be for her. And then the next thing was this um, like container of Tootsie Rolls. And you probably won't be able to see like the cutout up here, but there's like a little slit that you can punch out and it turns into like a piggy bank after it's empty. Again, like a stocking stuffer or something like that for somebody. Oop. And the next thing I got were these little pair of baby socks. The reason I got them, they were just kind of like tossed on a shelf somewhere, but they actually have like the stickies on the bottom. And now that Amelia is walking, she definitely knows that her socks make her slip when she's on the hard floor. So she likes to rip her socks off. So hopefully these um, will keep her from slipping and I can get her to keep them on. Plus they're pretty cute. So got those. And then the next thing I got was this set of funnels. It comes with three. And I got her these because she has two smaller funnels that she really likes. So I just kind of thought that she would enjoy playing with these as well. And then the next thing I got was something else for me as well, but it is just this um, like pack of airheads. It just comes with like six different flavors. So I love airheads, so I got me some of those. I also got a nerd's rope, but unfortunately that did not make it into this video. And then the next thing I got was um, just this like red flashlight. The reason I got this was because Amelia found it and then carried it through the store with her the rest of the time we were there. So I just went ahead and grabbed it, thought it would be cute to put in her stocking. I assumed she would like it considering she didn't want to put it down when we were at the store. So I grabbed that. And then the next big bag I have is a lot of snacks and stuff. So I'm just going to leave this one on the floor and pick from it. But the first thing I got was this um, Brim's white cheddar popcorn. I love white cheddar popcorn and I'm not sure of like the name brand with like the black bag, but I'm sure this is just fine and only a dollar. So I got that. And then I got this box of assorted tarts. I had some kind of like this a couple weeks ago and I really liked them. So I grabbed some more. And then um, Amelia also loves goldfish and she saw these and insisted on having them. So I grabbed two boxes. This is one and she's already eaten the other. So we got those. And then these candy canes are going to be for my um, future sister-in-law's basket. Uh, she said her favorite, or she said lemon heads were her favorite. So I saw these and I thought that was really cute. I love lemon heads too. So I thought this was really cool. I have never seen these candy canes before, but I'm not a fan of traditional candy canes. I don't hate them, but they're not my favorite. I like the sweet tart ones a lot. So I think these will be good and I think they will be cute in her basket. Then the next thing I got were these pecan chocolate chip Supremes, just little mini chocolate chip cookies with pecans in them. I thought maybe they'd be good for a snack or something. I don't know, they look pretty good, so I got them. And then I got this bucket of cotton candy. It's actually white cotton candy in this bucket with the snowman on it. I thought it was super cute. And then yesterday I was looking at it and I kind of want to read like this smile guarantee it has on the side because I think it's really cute and kind of funny. It says, it has been scientifically proven that it is impossible for someone to eat fun sweets cotton candy without cracking a smile. In fact, we're so confident of that fact that we guarantee it. And then right underneath, there's a disclaimer that says, the fun sweet smile guarantee applies to typically pleasant individuals. If you are a major grouch that doesn't smile at a puppy or a rainbow, then even we can't help you. I just thought that was kind of cute. And again, just something to put in somebody's basket or a stocking stuffer or, I don't know, to sit on top, put a bow on and sit on top of their presents. Just thought it would be cute. And I don't think I've ever really seen all white cotton candy like in a store before. So I got that. I think that might be all of the snacks and we're almost done this bag. But the next things I got were these two um, ceramic mugs. This one here has like an old time truck on it with 
some Christmas trees in the back. I thought that was really cute. The little sign on it says Merry and Bright. And then I got this, um, it's like just blue with painted ornaments and some candy canes on it. They look really wide and I really liked that they came in boxes already because I don't have to try to awkwardly wrap, awkwardly wrap, <laughs> awkwardly wrap a coffee mug. And my mom and my stepdad drink a lot of coffee, have a lot of coffee mugs. So for a dollar, I thought this was just a really cute gift idea. So I got both of those. And actually while we were in the Dollar Tree, I went to grab the one with the truck and they had had, like the shelf was way too full and all of the front row was hanging over the like the shelf by a good like half a box, so a good inch or two. And when I pulled the truck one off, one tipped over and fell on the floor and shattered and I felt really terrible because I don't think I've ever done anything like that before but at least it wasn't too expensive but I think it was their fault for way overstuffing their shelves anyway the last thing in that bag is just this box of um, like Mickey Mouse tissues Amelia, like I said, really likes Mickey Mouse right now, so I thought she would like to have this in her room, so I grabbed her that. And then the last bag I have is a heavy one. I actually don't remember what all is in this one, but it's a lot of like bags and gift wrap and stuff like that, so let's go ahead and jump right into this one. The first things I grabbed were actually these reusable um, like tote bags. They're like the plastic material. They would be I feel like these would be really good instead of um, like traditional paper gift bags just because they can keep it, they can reuse it, and they, you know, fit a whole bunch of stuff in it. And for the same price as another gift bag, I feel like it's definitely a really good deal. So make sure you check out your Dollar Tree because they had a whole bunch of them. I just grabbed a couple of my favorites. So we got that one. And then we got, or well, I got this, um, Spring into spring. <laughs> it's a Finding Nemo Dory one. Amelia just really likes fish and so she saw it and went So I had to get it for her. so I grabbed her that and then the next bag I got was a again reusable one, but it has all of the Disney princesses on it Just super cute and again, I plan on putting some of her presents in here. Maybe some smaller more awkward stuff just so she can kind of pull it out and i don't have to worry about wrapping it so that was cool and then the next gift bag i got was this um like floral one it's not really christmasy my mom's birthday is on um december 30th so i went ahead and grabbed this um to put her birthday presents in or some of them at least i thought that was just really pretty and i like the the cool shape so that was cool and then I grabbed this gift bag as well. The green here is like foiled and I just really liked the, um, the cardinals and the ornaments. My mom really likes uh, cardinals, that's what they're called, right? Yeah. So I got uh, this to put some of her Christmas presents in it. I think she'd really like that. And for a dollar, that looks like a really nice bag. I don't know. I love the Dollar Tree. but. Then I got this cute reindeer bag. I like the wide bags because I feel like you can fit a lot in them. So I got one of those. And then I got this, another tote bag, same size as the first one I showed you, but it just has these spirals on it. And this one isn't necessarily very Christmassy either, but it's cute and again, would be really cute to put presents in or whatever you're giving somebody or even just this alone. I think it would be a cute present in like a gift basket or something like that. Just really cute. So I actually see some more food down there, so I guess it wasn't all the food. Anyway, the next thing I got was this pack of holiday cards. It just says happy holidays with some ornaments on it. I really liked, I don't know, just like the, um, like the style of the ornaments that are on there. I think they look kind of old, but chic if that makes sense i don't know that's kind of my style especially with the floral and they're just these really nice cards with some more ornaments inside it says wishing you all the peace joy and love of the season and it comes with envelopes and there are 
14 in here. So for a dollar, that was a really good deal. And they're really nice cards. So I'm glad I picked those up. And then the next things I got, not for Christmas, but I really loved the last set of these that I bought. If you saw them in my other haul, they are awesome for storing like Amelia's leftovers because she doesn't have a whole lot of food anyway. So they're really nice for putting her food in. And then I also got just um, like a little bit bigger of a size just for whatever. And they actually have, you probably can't see that, but they have measurements on the side. They both do, so that's really cool. But they're Betty Crocker and for a dollar it comes with four in each, so that's awesome and a really good deal. A quarter for a container, I think that's awesome. And then the next thing I got is just this five function pocket tool. I got this just to kind of like toss in with my little brother's stuff. He has a bunch of them, but he really likes them. So I thought he would like this one. And then I also got him some bath fizzers. They are leaf shaped. And again, these are for my little brother. He gets in trouble sometimes because he uses things that aren't meant to be bubble baths as bubble bath, if that makes sense. Like the soap, he uses like expensive body washes and shampoos and stuff. So I thought he would enjoy something that's actually meant for a bath. So I think he'd like those. And then he's always talking about coconut water. So I don't think he likes it. I think he's lying, but he's always talking about it. So I got him a chocolate and a, I guess this is vanilla or regular. I don't know, but we'll see if he likes them. He's cracked open a couple coconuts and took in like one drink and then didn't want it. But for some reason, he's always talking about wanting somebody to get him coconut water. So I got it for him, but I doubt he's gonna actually like them. And then the next things I got, I just got two things of soup. Amelia about pulled this off the shelf. So I was like, okay, I'll get it for you. So it's just Campbell's Kitchen Classics chicken noodle soup. And then I got a can of spaghetti and meatballs from Chef Boyardee. She likes both of them, I like both of them, and so we got them. And then the next things I got are some of my favorite things that I got on this trip. And they are actually these really cute tags. And it says each package comes with 18, which um, I actually got two, so I think I'm gonna have more than enough. They are just really cute. Some of them have penguins and Santa Claus. They are 3D, so the little characters kind of pop out on them, if you can see that. There are different ones on both sides. And then I got this set as well, which I thought were really pretty. So I think I have like a nice um, diverse mixture. So they're really, really nice. I thought these were super pretty. They're like gold foiled and like I said, 3D. I think these are really pretty and I almost didn't get gift tags because I was like, I don't know what stuff is, but when I saw these, I couldn't pass them up. And like I said, I think they're some of my favorite things that I got on this trip. And then the next thing I got was this um, two pack of bags. So two bags for a dollar, awesome. But this first one just has like a glittery ornament on it. And then this one, it just says joy with a candy cane and some holly. Super cute, just extra bags for whatever. And then the next thing I got was just some green sparkly tissue paper. I thought it went really well with most of the um, like gift bags I got. So I got some of that. I'm probably gonna need some more, but I feel like I always end up with like a ton extra tissue paper. So I only got one pack at first. And then I think, I think this is the last thing I got. Yeah, so the last thing I got was just this zipper pouch. I just thought this would be really nice to put, like I have a big makeup case that has like all of my makeup, all of my palettes. I think this would be good to like, when I go just for one night and I don't need all of my makeup, toss some of that in or something for Amelia. It feels like it's, yeah, it's definitely waterproof. So I could even put it in the diaper bag as like a wet bag. I think that would be cool. But they had a bunch of different sizes, a bunch of different colors. Um, I found this one's the one that I liked the most. I don't really love it, but for a dollar for all the things I could potentially use this for, I definitely picked it up. So make sure you check them out because I don't think I've ever seen these at the Dollar Tree before. Maybe it was just because I was at a Dollar Tree I'd never been to, but definitely worth a dollar. So go check those out.
Okay, so I definitely lied. That was not the last thing. These are the last things. I found some of the cutest wrapping paper ever and for a dollar. I This was actually one of the main things I went to get because I love getting a bunch of different kinds for different people and just just to have a variety of paper. So the first one I got has little like Mickey Mouse characters on it. I thought Amelia would love this one and it's really tall. It comes with, it's only 20 square feet, but it's really tall and I have a couple quite big presents for her. So I think this will be perfect for them. And then the next one I got is just this, it's like a birchwood pattern. I don't know if it'll actually pick it up on camera, but it looks like like a birch log and it just says um, Merry Christmas and it has some hollies and some pine cones and it's just really pretty wrapping paper. I think I might put my mom's presents in that. And then I got one with these really cute snowmen and some peppermints on it. Really cute like um, like a minty green kind of color. So I got that. And then I got this green paper with lots of ornaments all over it, white, red, gold, super pretty. So I got those or that. And then I got this paper with some penguins on it. I got one with like woodland creatures on it. Owls, Amelia loves owls, birds, trees, pine, or not pine cones, porcupines hedgehogs, maybe that is a hedgehog, maybe it's not a porcupine, probably just a hedgehog, deer, just really cute, I really like that one, and then the last one I grabbed was just this, um, they're like drawn on candy canes and stars out of the lines, I thought this would just be really cute to wrap some of Amelia's in as well, okay, so that was everything. I almost forgot those and I had them sitting right in front of me so that I did not forget and I still almost forgot. Okay, well that was everything that I got at the Dollar Tree when I went to look for Christmas things and whatnot and I think I definitely succeeded. I don't think I'll have to go almost anywhere else for like gift wrap or anything like that. So I think I did really good. The only thing I wanna go get is some cards. Dollar Tree has them, but there were a million people in the Dollar Tree at that point, and so many people were like crowded around the cards. I was just not in the mood to look for cards while Amelia's running around, so I'm gonna have to go back sometime and get everybody some cards, but other than that, I think I'm almost done my Christmas shopping. There's a couple things I still want to order online, Amazon, and whatnot, but I think this pretty much took care of it, so I'm really happy about that. I spent about $65, which is a ton at the Dollar Tree, but I got a lot of good stuff. I feel like right like around the holidays, they have really nice quality things. They had a lot of stuff there that I didn't pick up that's really nice and I think would be really cute as decor or anything like that. So like I said, make sure you go check out your Dollar Trees. It's not sponsored or anything like that, like any of my other Dollar Tree videos, but they have a ton of good stuff if you wanna go and maybe like throw somebody a gift basket together or um, gifts for teachers or something like that, all kinds of mugs. So definitely go check that out if you're on a budget or just want to throw somebody together a gift, great for that, so check it out. Okay, well before this video gets too long, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, make sure you check out the description below. I'll have ton of stuff down there so just make sure you check it out and like I said please subscribe to my channel I upload videos every single week and I would love to have you join me and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so that I know to do more of them thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time